Hello everybody, how are you doing? In this video, we'll talk about Alberta Immigrant Nominee Program. So many of you keep asking about it, so here's time when I upload a detailed video about AINP. We'll talk about the overview, different streams in this AINP program, the eligibility criteria, the step-by-step -step process, the fee, how you can apply and whatnot. So without wasting more time, let's start this video. But before that, let me tell you, I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad. I regularly upload videos on Canadian immigration and lifestyle. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please consider subscribing and pressing the bell icon so that you don't miss any of the videos. Okay, so before I proceed further, let me tell you about the geographical location of Alberta. Alberta is a province which is located between British Columbia and Saskatchewan. Recently, Alberta was in news that there were some snow showers in the summer season. So you can imagine the temperature in Alberta all around the year. The capital is Edmonton and the largest city is Calgary. Now let's talk about the different streams in the AINP program. So of course the Alberta Immigrant Nominee Program has got three different streams. The first one is Alberta Opportunity Stream. The second one is Alberta self-employed farmer stream and the third one is Alberta Express Entry System. The Alberta Opportunity Stream has got certain eligibility requirements, the foremost of which is working in Alberta in an eligible occupation. The Alberta self-employed farmer stream allows individuals with farming experience and personal funds to purchase and develop a farm in Alberta. Now I know most of my viewers would be interested in the Alberta Express Entry Stream. So we would be talking about this particular stream in detail in this video. So let's talk about the Alberta Express Entry Stream. The AINP's Express Entry Stream allows the province of Alberta to nominate a limited number of eligible candidates from the government of Canada's Express Entry Pool. The AINP will select candidates based on the self-declared information in their express entry profiles. So it's very clear that AINP does not have its own scoring system like Saskatchewan, like British Columbia. They don't have their own scoring system. They pick the profiles from the express entry pool, just like Ontario's human capital priority stream. So I hope that this concept is very clear. Don't get confused. There's no portal as such. We can go on to create your profile for Alberta Express Entry Stream. They themselves pick the profiles from the Express Entry Pool. Now the eligibility criteria. You must have an active Express Entry Profile in the Federal Express Entry Pool. You must have stated an interest in immigrating permanently to Alberta. You're working in an occupation that supports Alberta's economic development and diversification and you must have a minimum CRS score of 300. Okay, now here let me tell you two important points. So when you're creating your Express Entry Profile, it asks for the interest in the province where you're actually interested to move. So over there you should select either Alberta or all provinces. To be on the safer side, I would suggest you select all provinces. So you can apply for other provinces as well and also you would have a chance for Ontario's HCP stream. So this was one point. The other point is about the occupations. You must be very interested in knowing the list of occupations. Unfortunately, there's no listed occupations that are in demand in Alberta. So they do have their own set of uh, high demand occupations which they don't disclose to the general public. And the reason behind it might be that that list keeps on changing every month or maybe every quarter because the occupations in demand would be changing certainly after a certain period of time. Okay, now let's talk about the profiles, which one would be given high preferences and which one would be given the low preferences. So Alberta would give you a high preference if you have a valid Alberta job offer and or work experience in Alberta. Apart from that, if you're a graduate of Alberta post-secondary institution with a valid Alberta job offer or you have a parent, child, brother and or a sister who's a permanent resident living in Alberta or a Canadian citizen living in Alberta. So in any of these cases your profile would be given higher preference. 
it's not a eligibility requirement please note it's not mandatory to have one of these points but your profile would be given high preference if you do have one of these points now the profile which would be given lower preferences your express entry profile expires in three months or less now let's talk about this step-by-step -step process. Alberta picks the profiles from the express entry pool giving priorities to certain profiles. I told you how they actually give higher preference. Foreign nationals can only apply to the Alberta express entry stream after receiving a notification of interest letter from the province. Eligible candidates will be contacted directly by the AINP through, the, through their express entry profile. Only those express entry candidates who receive a, an invitation or NOI letter from AINP can submit an application for a provincial nomination under the Alberta Express Entry Stream. If you receive a NOI letter from Alberta, you must email a copy of the letter to the AINP at albertaexpressentry at gov.ab.ca within two weeks of receiving it in your federal Express Entry profile. You must also provide your Express Entry profile number and status information about the current and past AINP applications or nominations if applicable. The AINP will confirm your information and may send you an email requesting you to submit an application including the including a form to fill out and uh, a document checklist listing all required documents. Now there's no fee to submit an application. So this is a very important part unlike the OINP the Ontario PNP program, there's no fee. In Ontario PNP program, there's a fee of $1,500, but here it is free of cost. So it's a big bonus. The points to remember here is that you only get two weeks to send an email with a copy of uh, the letter to AINP. If you miss that, then you might miss the opportunity to get the AINP nomination. Now let me tell you that this is a paper-based application after all of this process is done, then you have to actually send your documents along with different forms and the document checklist to Alberta in an envelope. So this is not an online application process. You cannot upload those documents online. So this would take time. So please be aware that you don't have to make any mistake and provide false information to Alberta because only after submitting all of these documents, they would send you a PNP nomination letter and then you would get 600 points, which would definitely ensure that you get your ITA in the very next draw. So I hope that the information that I've told you about the AINP program is quite clear. If you do have any questions, please comment down below. I would be happy to reply them. So thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please click the like button and share it with your friends if you think it would help them and also please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Thanks again for watching this video.